I haven't asked that they be removed from it, but I'm going to vote against it, just like Senator Cornyn is. Well, those projects were projects that, that were vetted. Those were projects that we, I mean, I support those projects, but I don't support this bill, nor do I support the process by which this bill was put together. And as John said, most of us voted, Republicans did at our conference, on a resolution that we would not request earmarks. Um, so <laughs> my, my way of expressing that is to vote against the legislation. So why not so ask that they be removed so that they cannot be removed? Well, I'm, I, we're going we're gonna to try and hold this thing down. I mean, I don't know how you, how you get them out now other than amending the bill. You know, the bill's in front of us. Carl, this is not just about earmarks. Earmarks are a symptom of wasteful Washington spending that the American people have said they want reformed. We agree with them, and that's why we will vote against this bill. But you're missing the, the, the story if you think it's just about earmarks. This is about a flawed process of sweetheart deals cut behind closed doors and a big bill, spending bill, dropped on the American people and on us uh, on uh, December the 14th without adequate time uh, to amend it and debate it and to reveal to the American people what is in it so they can cast their, their judgment. So I think, uh, I think that's, to me, the, the context. And we've said very clearly, we, we, we voted for an earmark moratorium. We will abide by that, and we will reject any earmarks uh, requested by us or anyone else.